Hey everybody, Sean here, and I hope you're doing well. Yesterday we did a video on Cat Kerr, bad dinosaurs and the Earth being created twice, and it would appear that Kenneth Copeland agrees with her on the part about the Earth being recreated in six days. Let's take a quick listen. The fossil record does a lot. There's an enormous amount of time between Genesis 1 and Genesis 2. Enormous. He didn't create this world in six days. He recreated it. He replenished it in six days. With words. And these are the blessed words of God. That we are out of time, but this wisdom that has come from him is so precious. This is just a quick one today to show that birds of a feather and false teachers of a feather do flock together. So it shouldn't be surprising that we hear Kenneth Copeland agreeing with her on God recreating the earth when we know that the earth was created once. Genesis is clear on that. The idea of millions or billions of years occurring between verses 1 and 2 comes from what's called the gap theory and is an attempt to explain and date prehistoric fossils. This isn't a salvation issue, it's just an attempt to harmonize the facts of scripture with the ideas of fallen men. Kent Hovind has a lot of teachings in support of a young earth if you're interested in studying this more. And once again, this video isn't about whether the earth is old or young. It's showing the agreed upon false teaching that God created the earth twice as agreed with by Ken and Kat. If you haven't seen the Kat video on this, you can click the link on the screen because it's a bit longer. But we're going to keep it short for today, so feel free to leave your comments below. And until next time, take care and God bless.